Can I do this? Yep. Smooth. Hello. So as you all probably know, the Tokyo Auto Salon was cancelled this year because of various reasons. But I thought I'd bring you here anyway. It kind of got cancelled at the last minute, so a lot of companies had already prepared all their stuff for the show, and it would be a shame to have it go to waste. One of those manufacturers is HKS, and they have actually built their entire Tokyo Auto Salon stand. And not only that, they've got a bunch of their demo cars here. So let's have a bit of a look around the HKS stand. I think we'll start off with the cars that you know, the old demo cars. And we've also got from HKS, uh, Akira here to help us out. Hi, my name is Akira. This is the car that I'm most interested in, even though it's probably the oldest car here. This is the HKS Group A R32 GTR. I like this so much. Oil splash. Oil splash? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. So apparently, uh, yeah, this design is called the HKS Oil Splash. I know in Australia, in Australia we call it the Batwing design. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So it's the oil splash from the oil, uh, the oil cans. This is so cool. This is something I want to do to my car. I need the side exit exhaust like this. One interesting thing about the oil splash design is if you look at the color of the stripes, it might be a bit hard to see in this light, but they're a really bright fluoro orange. But if you look at the color on the modern cars, it's sort of more of a fuchsia, sort of a pinkish color. So this is the new coloring and that one is the retro coloring. Look at the old, the old Nismo horn button. All right, I'm getting ideas for my car. And it also, it has a very, very strong smell of petrol. <laughs> the old retro HKS gauges. That's cool. All right. Well, enough uh, enough about the past. Let's uh, let's look at the next cars here. So this one here is oh, it's so big I can't get into shot. There we go. This is uh, HKS's Toyota 86, and this ran in Australia at World Time Attack, and it also ran at Scuba Circuit. And that's why, if you see on the bonnet there, TRB03. Scuba Record Breaker. Scuba Record Breaker. Third generation Time Attack car. And this one here is the, once again, it's so big and fat, I can't get into shot. This is the fourth generation one. The Suzuki Swift. Let's talk engines, K40C, you know? K, that's the Suzuki engine? Yeah, that's the Suzuki engine. Okay. Okay, I gotta show you. So this is the K40C engines. Uh, with, I forgot the turbines, but... Uh, it's an HKS turbo. Yeah, HKS turbo. <laughs> All HKS product. Another interesting thing about this uh, Swift is the center mounted seat. So the seat is mounted in the middle with the, uh, the shift on the left and the pedal box right there. So the driver is sitting on the transmission tunnel. I mean, these cars, they also came in four wheel drive, which is why they have a transmission tunnel. Big set of advans with uh, advans. This is also, if you remember, the red HKS Lan Evo Time Attack car. That's this car and it's been converted to, you see here, HKS NGV, natural gas vehicle, I think is what that means. So this runs on, uh, it's a combined like petrol LPG? Yeah. Right, so it's a, it's a new test vehicle. So this is the older HKS red, oh, you can actually see it in the, 
The old door jams always give it away. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this is not a window. This is carbon fiber. So this one is a Time Attack GTR that also ran in Australia at World Time Attack, being driven by, uh, was it Taniguchi? Yeah, Mr. Taniguchi. Yeah, so Taniguchi is, uh, drives a lot of their cars. Also, actually, Taniguchi back in the day drove uh, the red S15 built by HKS. It was one of my favorite cars, but uh, anyway. So this uh, GTR, it's also seen at uh, Fuji Speedway, at the Rs meetings, etc. How big are these wheels? 290, 71, 20. Yeah, big rubber on the back. Okay, I'm gonna show you the... Yes. ...on the foot. Uh, so this is the, the BO38 engines. It's, it's 4.3. Oh, 4.3? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, HKS capacity up, go, uh, up, upgrade kit. This has definitely been used a lot. It looks like it's uh, been driven really hard, really hot. You can see there's a lot of sort of temporary insulation being installed, which means uh, yeah, that was probably done at the last minute, which means this car gets uh, worked hard and they find the limits pretty quick. It produces about 1,200 horsepower. Canards on the front are huge. So HKS also uh, runs an event at Fuji Speedway called the HKS Premium Day, which is uh, where they bring out a lot of these cars and also other tuners bring out there, especially GTRs. So this one here is uh, one of the original sort of 2JZ powered Toyota 8.6s. This particular one here was made by Daigo Saito. So it's been in D1 Grand Prix being driven by, uh, once again, it was Taniguchi? Yeah. yeah, it was driven by Taniguchi once again. It's got the old... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's it, uh, very cool. There we go. So this is what the 2JZ86 has looked like from the very beginning. So GT style side exhaust which comes out <laughs> here. That's a, a fairly old WiseFab design. I don't know if they make it like that anymore. That's still on there. And also HKS suspension and HKS turbo. It also the HKS capacity kit. Right. I think 3.4 liter. This is what uh, drift cars looked like only a few years ago. So if you look at them now, you can see uh, where they came from in this sort of design. And last one in this row. Once again, this one driven by Taniguchi. Uh, so this was the Supra that you saw being driven at the Goodwood Festival over in the UK. See, it's got the Goodwood Festival of Speed number and Goodwood Festival of Speed past scrutineering July 2019 by Alan Clancy. This would have been the first 2JZ powered Supra that most people in the world would have seen. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this one's a bit more of a, of a show car. So compare that to the 8.6 we just saw there before. It looks a bit more developed. Yeah. As, a, as an engine bay. Did you sell this cover or is this a one-off? No, one-off. One-off? Oh, one that looks so cool. Yeah, everything needs a, a name on it when you get it. This is, this is a HKS GT3 5-hour uh, turbine. Biggest turbine mm. in the HKS. Biggest engine and biggest turbo. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it sounds like the sort of thing you'd want to take to Goodwood. No, you, you can't go halfway if you're going to go to Goodwood. You know what we need to do? To make this a more accurate simulation of a Tokyo Auto Salon, you need a lot of crowd noise uh, to have the camera really close because you can't film. There's so many people. And you also need some like dull techno music in the background. So this, is the, this is what it would actually look like if I was filming a Tokyo Auto Salon. Is that, is that accurate enough? Oh. Lunchtime! <laughs> Every Tokyo Auto Salon has a hero car. Uh, you know, it used to be like the Toyota 86 or the GTR or something like that. You know, whatever the new car that came out. So this year it's obviously 
this, the uh, Toyota GR Yaris. And we've got two of them here today. We've got this one, which is the, uh, the more extreme one, and also this one over here, the HGS Street style one. And of course, uh, you know, I mean, the Supra still only just came out recently. So we've got two of the Yaris. This is the race version and the street version. So I haven't had a chance to drive one of these cars yet myself, but apparently what everyone's saying is that the, st the standard transmission is fine, the engine can handle it. This one has 450 horsepower with huge tires on it for such a small car. Look on the front, and remember this is four wheel drive too. It has, uh, let's see, what is that? Two, 265? It has 265s on the front. So this is running the same size wheels all round as I run on the back of my Mark II. The GR Yaris, GR4. But this is HS original, the exhaust system. The exhaust system? Yeah. Uh, 1.6 liter three cylinder engines with HK's the prototype turbine mm -hmm. and then the original, the one of the surge tank. Mm -hmm. And then also the, uh, it has the intercooler. Right. Yeah, this is the only original HK's parts. Okay, so this, this is good and all, but this is the street version of the Yaris. This is HKS's body kit. Yeah, this is uh, the Super Table Muffler, uh, which is we sold, already sold in the market. This exhaust system passed the Japanese regulations. I mean, the Shaken. Yeah, Shaken. I want to show you in the, in the bonnet. Okay. It, it's been really impressive. Only the carbon fiber. Right. Uh, the, this is a, uh, how can I say, uh, here? The, the cover. Yeah, the, uh, the relay box yeah, cover? Yeah, relay box yeah. cover, yeah. And also engine cover. It's so nice. <laughs> Look at this. It's, it, you, need, you need this logo on everything. Yeah. It's like a big, <laughs> big silver logo on everything. The traditional. HKS mushroom the filter. The mushroom filter. Do you, yeah. do you call it the mushroom filter? Like in, at HKS, do you say mushroom filter? Yeah, of course. Really? <laughs> right. uh, do you know the, our Instagram? Yeah, yeah. And the Twitter? I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the pictures. So they've, <laughs> they've actually, here, I'll put it here. They put, they made these pictures of the, the mushroom, like out in the wild. This is also HKS traditional. Oh, the classic, valve. the classic yeah. uh, super sequential blow off valve. We call it SQB. Yeah. And then this is a power editor. Uh, it's it's kind of the oh, like the piggyback computer. Yeah. Okay. I saw this when we walked in from all the way over the other side. I saw this RB26 complete by HKS Advanced Heritage. So what that is, the RB26, the GTR, etc., is Japanese heritage. So they need to make uh, parts for it again. What's interesting about the direction they're taking is they're taking their old designs, like these twin equal length manifolds, etc., and changing them slightly to suit modern technology and modern uh, tuning. So these turbos, as you can see, they're angled down in order to make the airflow simpler, straighter, and uh, I guess, you know, clear up the engine bay. This engine produces a 600 horsepower with the 20 kilometer by liter uh, fuel efficiency. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so fuel efficiency yeah. as well. You can see this section of the intake manifold uh, plenum is sort of a regular sort of straight, but then you've got this long, thin section here. And it looks really different to any other one I've ever seen. But uh, apparently it delivers air well to all, uh, all of the cylinders. If you have to ask how much it costs, you probably can't afford it, but this would be a very nice engine to have. By the way, see this? Uh, see this? If you like HK stuff, this is their new character. Stormy. Stormy. Conquest the world. Oh, okay. Uh, 87 is the number that HKS runs on their racing cars. Oh, the HKS Zippo. 
on both sides. And also this is a limited. That's limited too? Yeah. Oh man, I shouldn't put my fingerprints all over it. <laughs> there we go. You're never going to lose your 10 mil again. This this watch at Keychain is collaborate with the Tone. With Tone Tools. By the way, this yeah. is pronounced uh, Tone, not Tone. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't know that. Gloves and carabiner and that sort of stuff. So uh, apparently this stuff is all for sale on HKS Gate Online. It's only uh, supplied to the ja Japan only. Oh, okay. So, uh, so sorry for the overseas customer. Uh, <laughs> You need to you need to make a friend in Japan to, to buy this stuff for you, but okay. uh, well, that makes it even cooler. Like if you you know if you can actually get your hands on one of these, this is the classic HKS oil. Another thing they've done recently is get their oil standardized. Yes. So Supra prototype uh, stainless exhaust. This one is for the uh, the Yaris. Yes, Yaris. If you're looking forward to tuning up your Yaris. HKS has you covered. You're not supposed to do this at car shows, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, there we go. And RB26 head with the coil kit. Yeah, racing coil. Racing coil kit. Yeah. This is also the 2DG engine cover. Goes on this one? Yeah. The problem it's is it, like co it covers up the, ca the, cam the cam wheels though, so you can't see the cool HKS cam wheels. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, but, but you can you can see the HKS. You can see HKS there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, holographic in the middle there. Can I keep this? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I mean, I could buy it, but yeah. I, I don't have a TJZ, so maybe when I when I get a oh. TJZ. Uh, <laughs> all right, coil uh, EVC. Yeah. With the, you push the scumbo Oh, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Whoa! Flash editor. Flash editor. Suspension, replacement for Supra, and oh, WRX yeah. airbox. Once again, the logo is the best part. Another thing about HKS cars is they all run Yokohama tires and also the Yokohama Advan wheels. If you look at the Yaris, here you go, endless the R6s and this Supra over here once again endless with the Advans the other street demo car they have is this Supra so this is the current uh, this is the A91 yeah. right so this is the the latest model so a few HKS parts on this also the boost up tune and I think is the rear wing yeah. By HKS? There you go, uh, an actual chassis mount rear wing by HKS. So a super turbo muffler on this. This is something you always see at the back of the HKS stand is all their suspension. They've put together a few of their different models into a new model, the Hypermax S. Three years, 60,000 kilometer warranty. Is that right? Three yeah. year warranty? The Hypermax S, uh, beginning of all this series, you should buy in a HKS dealer with this series. Oh, of course, of yeah. course. Yeah. All right, so. All right, that's all from here today at the HKS Premium Salon. I know it's not as good as the real thing, but hey, look, it, it's good that this is on. Also, thanks to Akira from HKS for inviting me out. Yeah, thank you, Alex, uh, coming from, uh, coming to the Oh, appointment, so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty good. Also, these cars out here, it was great to see them. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe to see more content like this. Here's some other videos from previous auto salons if you want to check them out. And also, don't forget Instagram and Twitch. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.